With less than 24 hours to go before the Amateur Swimming Association of Jamaica heads to its voting annual general meeting, both candidates have highlighted what they will do if they are elected. Stakeholders have also weighed in on what they would like to see from whoever is successful in becoming president. Former President Martin Lynn, who will be going up against Handel Lehme for the second time after losing out to him two years ago, has insisted that things need to change in swimming and that he has the right team for the job. He detailed what his administration would bring to the table if he is elected as president once again. The first thing I bring is a full, full-fledged team to, to, to benefit the ASAJ. That's the first thing. The second thing I bring is getting back into sponsorships, good books, because in the last two years there have been some sponsors that have been disenfranchised with the ASAJ. The third thing is to, is to get back into the facilities. I mean, when I left, I had left certain things in place to build, to improve this facility here um, to the benefit of Jamaica. And I will again work, work towards that as well. But Lamy has defended the work done by his administration, saying he has moved the association out of the red. We have become profitable in the last two years. That has not happened in probably the last 20 years, where we are in the, in the black. We are always running in the red prior to this. And every month now we produce a financial report for our council meetings. That's a tremendous move in the right direction. Meanwhile, owner of Tornado's Swim Club, Wendy Lee, and head coach of Y-Speeders, Gillian Millwood, whose clubs will be casting their vote come Wednesday, both weighed in on the elections. All the persons who are running, I've informed them that they need to put a lot of effort in lo local swimming because local swimming is still on the up. We are still doing really well. We just came back from an overseas competition with 25 athletes and we've performed exceptionally. So whoever is going to win, they must put all their efforts into developing our swimming right here at home. Looking at it from the club standpoint and you know from the swimmers, urgency and love of the water, we just want to see a team come out of the AGM. Just a team who is, who is coherent in their message, who is inspiring, who knows the athletes and puts out the effort to reach out to the athletes and the coaches. Noting that both the coaches and the athletes are involved in a very special relationship and honoring both sides of that with the support of the parent. Jordan Fort, TVJ Sports.